Hey guys, so welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my current obsessions, like my current favorite products, clothes, bags, candles, everything. Um, I haven't done a favorites video in like a year, so I think it was time for one, and I have so many favorite products of just a lot of things, so I'm going to be showing you guys those things, and yeah, so if you want to know what I've recently been obsessed with, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with makeup, because that's why we're here. Sorry, I have it on like my towel, because I don't want to get my white comforter dirty. Okay, so primers. I have been obsessed with these two primers, and if you watch my channel and my videos regularly, you would know that because I literally use these in every single one of my videos. Now, I like these primers because I have more of dry skin, so I need like a moisturizing, hydrating primer, and these two do it for me. Obviously, I don't like use both of them, but I use one or the other, and this is by Smashbox, and then this is by Too Faced. This is really really popular I don't really see people using this one but I kind of like it a little bit more than this one because this is like cooling to the skin so like when you put it on it just feels so like refreshing and just so amazing so I've been really obsessed with these two things okay now for foundation I have three so I have two drugstore ones and then one high-end one so the high-end one is the makeup forever HD and I'm in the color 173 which equals Y445 I don't know that means um, but I really like that foundation it's so easy to use like fast 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 you just put it on blend it out you're done you don't get anything like you don't you don't have to like put it on with your fingers or a brush you just put it on your skin and you're good to go um, and then the other two are by L'Oreal this is the pro glow and then this is the true match Lumi I recently got this and I have been obsessed with it like it's so good I really like these um both of these are in the shade classic tan oh no this is cream beige so I'm in the shade 211 for this one and and 78 in this one so they're really good and they're both like a luminous finish so if you don't like like a dewy natural finish then you wouldn't like these but if you do you should try these out and you can build these up for to full coverage. Like when you pump these out, like it's so liquidy and so watery, so you're gonna think it's like so not full coverage, but you can still build these up to full coverage. Okay, so for concealer, I have been obsessed with this. This is like by far my most favorite concealer ever. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the color tan. So I know a lot of people are like struggling to get this. I've seen like comments on my videos like like where did you get it? Like when did you get it? Because like it's sold out everywhere and also like my friends have been trying to get this and it's sold out everywhere. I don't know like it's literally so good and I guess that's why it's sold out but I would check online. I don't know maybe Ulta like Ulta.com I don't know, or anywhere else that carries Tarte, because I know that if you go into stores, it's a, since it's so easy to just go and get it, it's sold out there, but maybe online, I don't know, you should check that out. Okay, so for lips, I have the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar. I love this. Oh my god, the smell, it smells like peppermint. It's just so good. Like, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now with nothing else. I just left my foundation and then I put this on top just to, like, give me, like, a nude gloss. Um, but this is so, so good. I heard Jaclyn Hill rave about this, so I literally had to go get it and it is so, so good. Like, if you're wearing, like, a really dark lipstick and you don't want it that dark and you still want a gloss, if you put this over, over, if you put this on top of it, um, it's gonna lighten it and give you that gloss. So that's what I do like if I'm wearing like a really like intense like Dark color and I don't really want it to be that dark and I also want a gloss I just pop this on top and it's so so good. So then I have this blush by NARS. This is called Dulce Vida It's pronounced Dulce Vida like ethnically, but I think it's like Dolce Vida. I don't know um, but yeah, it's just like a mauve tone blush. I love this because it just makes your cheeks look so like blushed, you know, and obviously that's what a blush does, but like, you know how like sometimes you just put on like a baby pink blush and it just looks like you have just like pink on your cheeks, but like with this, it literally looks like you're blushing because it's like a very like blush tone color, if that makes sense. It's not like a baby doll pink or like an orange terracotta. It's like a blushed 
nude so I really like this if you are lighter I feel like this is gonna pull a little bit darker but if you're my complexion or darker this is going to be like a natural blush and it just makes your skin look so so good okay and then the next one is my hourglass bronzer I am obsessed with this this is the only bronzer I have been using for like the past seven months like literally this is the only bronzer I have been using since yeah, like seven months. I just really like this because it's so glowy and radiant, but it's so like, I love orange bronzers. Like, I love red-toned orange bronzers. I feel like those look like the best on me because I'm really tan. And this does that, and it gives you like a glow and dewiness, and it's so good. You guys should so check this out. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's so worth it. Okay, so the next thing that I have are eyelashes. These are the Ardell Wispies, the Demi ones, the Demi Wispies. <laughs> So they look like this. I don't know if it's going to focus all the way back here, but I really, really like these for when I just have like a simple makeup look on, simple eye. You pop these on and instantly you just turn like into like a fucking Glamazon bitch. But like honestly, these are so good. I used to use the just the regular natural ones and I still use those. But ever since I discovered these, I have not stopped using these. Now these come with four pairs. If I'm not doing like an intense eye with glitter and liner and all of that, I can probably use a pair of these like I want to say like seven to eight times, but if I'm like doing like a really intense dark smoky eye and I cover the band with glitter and eyeliner, I really can't reuse these just because the band is so thin. But um, if you just do like natural looks, you will be able to use these for a really, really long time. Um, I heard people can use these for like two weeks sometimes. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these. Okay, so then I have a candle. Um, this is the Leaves candle. It's by Bath & Body Works. Oh my god. It just smells so, so good. It smells like ginger mixed with like cologne. Just mixed with like... It's just so good. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. But honestly, this is just like the best candle ever for like winter and fall. Well, this is a fall candle. But I burned this in the winter along with... Fuck, what is that one called? Red candy apple, I think. And mixed together... They smell bomb as fuck, but this one is the best one that I've ever tried. It's so, so good. Okay, so then I have a perfume. So this is the Elizabeth and Arden Nirvana. This is a white one, obviously. I got this like a year ago, and I don't really wear perfume in the summer. I'm more of like a body spray person in the summer, because it's just, it's just like a little bit more fresh. But in the fall and the winter, I do use perfume, and this is always, always my go-to perfume. I also really like Gucci Guilty, Prada Candy, the Lady Gaga Fame Perfume, the Chloe Perfume, um, the Giorgio Armani C Perfume. I always steal that from my mom, because they just smell so good and they're they all smell really similar i like like sexy like just like sexy strong scents i don't like fruity scents i don't like like rosy scents i hate like rosy flowery scents when it comes to perfume i love like sexy 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 perfume <laughs> the next thing that i have is a camera so this is the canon eos M3. This looks like this. This is what I use to vlog. I have been vlogging so much the past like two weeks and this is the only thing that I really use. Unless it dies, I use my T5i. But other than that, when I'm in the car or just like walking around, I use this. It's currently out of battery, but I will charge this. Um, And I really like it because the, the screen flips up like this or it also flips out like this so you can like stand it or like if you're like vlogging like this you can see yourself in the viewfinder um so i really really like this and this takes bomb ass pictures like really really good pictures and i also like that it has its own separate flash like you press this button right here and the flash comes out so when when a camera has that it just means that the flash is like really 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 good and like intense and it's just going to make your pictures look really bomb so before we get into the clothes i'm going to talk to you guys about this bag so i got this bag a couple of months ago and i didn't really use it but i have been loving this bag lately this is by mark jacobs um i don't know what the actual name of it is um but i got this at nordstrom's a couple of weeks not weeks a couple of months ago um and yeah i really like the color i don't have a purse like this all of my bags 
like cross bodies or like purses are black navy blue so i don't have like anything like this this is definitely like still in the neutral family um but yeah like i said it's by mark jacobs i really like it because of the hardware it's like gold and i would have never thought of like this color bag with like gold accessory like hardware would look good but i really like this it just looks like that okay so let's get into clothes so i'm gonna go and start with shoes first so i have these black booties right here i don't know where i got these where did i get these i want to say forever yeah forever 21 so i got these at forever 21 i think last winter and i just never never ever use them um but this year i have been using them so much especially the last couple of months whenever i go out this is the only shoe that i wear um just because it's like so cute and it's like really comfortable well after a while your pinky does start to hurt but these are like my partying shoes these are the only shoes i ever use to when i go to like parties kickbacks frats this is the only thing that i use once again i fucking said that already because they're so cute and like they go with everything because they're just like typical black ankle booties let's get on to clothes i have so many um a couple of you commented on my instagram saying that i should like um do fashion videos and like post more fashion onto my youtube and my instagram and i definitely have thought about it i just i don't know i don't feel really comfortable in a lot of clothes like i have to it has to be cute in order for me to feel comfortable in it but i definitely will be including more fashion into my channel and my instagram um thank you guys for the suggestion it really did like help me because I was debating like I was like wait should I do it like I started my makeup channel like should I put fashion in it but I feel like I am very soon I do go shopping a lot so I do get a lot of clothes um but yeah and I only wear these clothes when I go out like literally I don't wear these to like if I'm going to the grocery store or anything if you watch my vlogs you know that I literally just throw on a shirt some leggings my burts in a bag and I get out the door um because who's gonna wear this shit to like the grocery store but literally I wear this to like parties and like if I go out to dinner or stuff okay so the first thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about if you get uncomfortable with underwear click out of this video now but I just want to talk to you guys about <laughs> Okay, so I just want to talk to you guys about this pair of underwear, um, or not this specific one, but just like this kind. So this is a Calvin Klein Classic Cotton Thong, I think that's what it's called. So it just looks like this. Obviously, you know what a thong is. It has like a wider coverage in the front and just like this in the back. So I love these when I am wearing leggings so i only wear these when i'm wearing like leggings or like super 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 tight um jeans i have worn these with like my black jeans that i always wear to um parties but i just i feel like these are really good for like leggings or if you're just like running out the door and you're just like throwing on like sweats or anything and you don't want to feel uncomfortable i would try these so the next two things i want to talk to you guys about are these little tops is my camera dying no Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys about these little tops. I wore both of these on my, in no, I just wore this one on my Instagram, and I have a YouTube video with this one, I think? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So these are just like little like cami tops, but I don't know if you can tell, it's like velvet, and it has like this like, vi um, what is this, veil? Is it veil? I don't know. Um, I just think they're so cute. So I got one in black, and I got one in pink. So they just look like this. They're super comfortable, super, super, super soft, and just, like, really cute and feminine. This is so ratchet, and, I mean, I'm not embarrassed by it or anything, but I actually got these at Walmart. Um, I was looking for Spanx, and I came across these, and I was like, wait, I've been looking for these everywhere. I saw these on Forever 21, I think, and they were, like, 25 bucks for one um and these were like five dollars so i got two of these i really wanted the black one and i think they had like a burgundy one but i but they didn't have my size so i just opted out for these two and these are so comfortable so cute so this i got at forever 21 about like a month ago and i wore this on my instagram and i got so many compliments on this one top so here it is um this is kind of like a burgundy knit sweater top thing um so it obviously has the sleeves for the arms but it also has like 
kind of like a cami look to it because of this so right here your shoulder is exposed and it just looks so cute i'll put a picture of it right here um but yeah this is so cute i feel like this with like a good pair of black jeans and like these booties and like a fucking thick ass black choker like you're fucking set to go so yeah these are this is really cute and this was only like 20 bucks because i got it on sale i think so the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is this crew neck right here so i have been wearing this crew neck on my instagram on my youtube my vlogs my snapchat literally everywhere um so it's just like a fucking big ass black crew neck i got this at goodwill last year literally last year never ever ever used it and then i pulled it out this winter and i was like wait this is actually really like fashionable um the only thing that i did to it was i cut the bottom i'll insert a picture of here what it used to look like it used to have like a band at the bottom but that came down to like my knees and it would like cinch my knees in and it just made me look so awkward so i did cut that band off and i actually really like how it looks it just looks like really like modernized i guess and i have been wearing this literally with everything with like my black partying um pants leggings with just like shorts underneath and they just look so good um a cute outfit that i put together was black like running shorts but like you can't even see them i just have them underneath for if you can see them this over top and um black nikes yeah but no black vans so i did that um last week i think like, I think I just went to the mall or something, and it looked so cute. Like, it looked like a sweater dress. Is that a thing? Okay, so then the last two clothing items I want to talk to you guys about... Oh, this shit broke. <laughs> ...are these two jackets right here. So I have this denim jacket right here. Both of these I got at Goodwill. Literally, guys, I'm telling you, go to Goodwill, go to, like, their sweater section, their guy t-shirt sections, and you will find so much cute shit also they have really nice stuff in the like lingerie stuff like shit that's lingerie but you can literally wear it as just like a top um and also their plus size section has really good like really big like shirts or just like really comfy jeans that you can wear especially their plus size like tops and shirts you can wear as like just like a chilling shirt and they just look so cute so both of these i got at goodwill this is by the gap and this is by levi and I got a Goodwill, so I think they were both like 10 bucks each, um, so I'll insert a picture of me wearing this one right here, but I really, this smells like weed and alcohol and cute boys, because I always wear this to when I go to parties, and I haven't washed it or like dry cleaned it, I really have to because literally, I don't, oh, you can see the stain on the back, somebody like spilled beer on me and it like went running down here, I need to go wash that, but yeah, I really, really like that, it just makes any outfit just look so much cuter and like, cuter so then i have this jean jacket i'll insert a picture of me wearing this right here um but i really really like this jacket not to like wear it like completely on but off the shoulder like a kim k look it just looks so so good and just so cute and like it just makes your outfit look like you spent so much time on it but in reality you just have a, ja a jean jacket off the shoulder and it looks really 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 cute and this is like two sizes bigger than me so i can like really put it off the shoulder the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is my choker i wear this choker not this choker but i have like three of them in every single one of my videos now i want to do like a diy on how to do this because these are so easy to make i make all of my chokers like literally all of my chokers i make and they're just so cute and all my friends compliment me and everybody compliments me on them because they're just so like it's so simple it's literally just a black velvet band with like and i actually make it like a really good choker like with the clamp and like the ring and everything so last thing i want to talk to you guys about is music so the first song that i've been obsessed with is, is my camera recording so the first song i've been obsessed with is where is it oh right here it's by wes walker and the song's name is jordan belfer i feel like everybody knows this song like this is such like a frat party song i literally play this at every single frat i have ever gone to like it's such like a like frat song but it's literally so good i love it Great. 
trap. I'm so embarrassing! <laughs> current obsessions these are all the things that i've been fucking obsessed with so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow my social media links i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very soon bye